Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, today on stream, Kralo did confirm two big promos coming to Madden this week. Now, in my Sunday video, I did go over the upcoming month content, and I did specifically mention that the Christmas promo would probably be coming this week. And he did say we do have a special stream coming this week, as well as team standouts that you guys probably see by the title. Now, this, this is huge. Team standouts is what have been fun alone for this week. But the Christmas promo is coming too, which is nice because we're finally getting a promo slightly earlier. Because as you guys do know throughout the year, we've been kind of dealing with promos coming late, such as like Thanksgiving starting right around the 20th. We had uh, the Halloween promo starting a bit later. And even other promos throughout the, just throughout this year. And Madden 20, quite honestly, promos have started super late. I remember back in the older Maddens, it would always be pretty simple. Promo would start in like the first week or two of the month, and we get to enjoy a promo for the entirety of the month. This Madden and last Madden, we've been getting promos for like the last week and a half of a month of the month, and it's super rushed. It doesn't feel very like immersive. It feels more like they just toss some cards at you, a solo, get your free player, and that's it. You're done with it. It's kind of like tossing a bone at a dog. So I'm happy they finally do a little bit longer of a promo now. It's not like crazy long, but if they do start, let's say at the latest, right? Sunday being like the 13th ish, the 14th ish. We have half a month, over half a month actually. Now I did tell you that Christmas would be coming earlier, primarily because of the fact that it has to. Because the Christmas promo, like, it has presents leading up to Christmas, so they couldn't start the 20th. It would just completely destroy the whole vibe of it. But I'm going to get into kind of what the Christmas, what to expect with the whole Christmas promo, what to expect with Team Standouts, and just kind of go over the two. Now, I'm going to start with Team Standouts in just a second, guys. Before we get into the video first, shout out to the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for joining. For everyone who enters, all you got to do is like the video, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. And first off, shout out to John Tucker for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support. And then if you guys need coins, pick up anything for the Christmas promo this week, the team standouts this week, or just team of the week in general tomorrow. Head over to my reserve down below. Use code POODLE, 15% off. Take advantage. Don't waste your money on packs. Save the money. Pick up some coins. Guaranteed value. Yeah, let's move on from that. So, guys, if team standouts do drop this week, I do suspect they have to be around... See, I want them to be around 93 overalls, right? Because this week, team of the week is getting an upgrade to 93. Legends are 95s. The 50s are 94s. I think it's only right if Team Standouts are 93s, at least. Now, would I prefer 94s, of course, but I don't think they'll be 94s. Campus Heroes were, oh, let's see, well, I can't, oh, 92 overalls. They were 92 overalls. Team of the Week's going up to 93, so I would definitely go with Team Standouts being a 93 overall, which would be usable, especially if they all came with power-ups and everything. Now, guys, Team Standouts are going to be just right, as you see here. Team Standouts were 89 overalls here. One player from each team that has a sta standing out right now. So, more than likely, if you guys want to know who... I'll, I'll probably do a predictions video at some point on this, but if you guys want to know who the cards would probably be, just go check out each team. If you've been watching football, you kind of more or less know who's standing out per team. So, like, see, for the Seahawks, it was it was uh, DK Metcalf. So, obviously, it won't be DK Metcalf again. So, you have to pick someone else who's standing out for the Seahawks. Now, it could change, right? It, it, like, none of these will be the same, obviously, because they're not going to give the same card and upgrade more than likely. I don't think they'll ever do that. For the Giants, it would be like James Bradbury. And then here we had Blake Martinez. So we can get like a James Bradbury 93 overall. That'd be super cool. Could be a very good corner. It, it, like I said, it's going to change per team. It's not going to be the same as it was the first time. But team standouts would be super cool. We 32 new players. If they're all 93s and they include some power-ups too for players who don't have them. It could definitely be a fun experience. Now for the uh, for the Titans, as you guys see here. The Titans have Kenny Vaccaro. This time it could be a Corey Davis 93 or A.J. Brown 93. That's another good card as well. And with the power-up, so if all these cards can get 93s plus power-ups, it's 94s. So that's why I'm hoping they do that. Because if they do it 92s and they only get to 93s, it's going to be like a select two to three cards that are actually like meta or usable. If they do 93s, almost every card will get to, or every card gets to 94. It will make almost every card in this promo usable, which could be super fun for everyone. And, of course, uh, theme teams. Now, for the Jaguars, I think it's time they give James Robinson a standout card. So that would be a good running back. I think it will be slow, but it will be fun to see him in the game. Yeah, I mean, there's just there's just so many options, guys. It doesn't just stop there. You know, for for the Cardinals, it could be Christian Kirk. He was really coming on a few weeks ago. Um, but I wouldn't say he's a standout, but you guys get the point. Stephon Diggs to get one. There's just so many options, so many guys. That's what's fun about it, too. For team standouts, there's essentially, like, probably three to five players per team. So there's a lot of vari variability to it, as well as it could be really good cards. And then, but that's about it for that, guys. Let's move on to the... Um, to Mudhead to show you guys some of the Christmas promo stuff and start going over that. But yeah, team standouts, 32 players, probably 92 to 93 overall. 
92s, they power up to 93. If they're 93, they power up to 94. You guys already know the deal with that. That's pretty much what we're dealing with in terms of team standouts. Now, Christmas promo overalls, they're going to be around the same thing. They'll probably start with some, they'll probably have some 92s working their way up to like 96 throughout the majority of the promo. I don't know if we clear 97 just because uh, that's the last year I think Ghost Max at 96. So I suspect we'll probably be dealing with this, which will be. But again, we do have 95s already, the LTDs, but I do suspect we'll probably end up having some zero chill S players going up to a 95. And then we'll probably have some Ghost going up to a 96. And maybe, maybe a 97, but I doubt it. I think we're going to max at 96. I don't think we see 97s until um, Team of the Year, which will be following shortly after in January, pretty much. But. Let's head over to Mudhead. Here, this is the Zero Chill uh, aspect. Now, this isn't just all there is for the Christmas promo, guys. There's plenty more to talk about here, but Zero Chill. We max with a Walter Payton, a Sean Taylor, Rob Gronk, Bruce Smith, Richard Sherman. And these are actually some good cards. Like, Bruce Smith was good. Rob Gronkowski was good. Sean Taylor was really good. Walter Payton was really good. This was this was a good drop of cards. Then we got some lower ones like Christian McCaffrey, Marcus Peters, Derwin James, Armstead, Cooper, Peterson. Now, these cards were super cool because these cards were like uh, superstar cards. So these cards were sets you had to do. Uh, it was Adrian Peterson, Amari Cooper, and Ted Hendricks. And these cards, it was a go it was pretty much a, a pass. Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't really slated like that, but these were two present players, Adrian Peterson and Cooper. And then Ted Hendricks was the pass one, which was a 93. Now, these were cool because they came with three abilities built into them. As you can see here, he had Reinforcement, X-Factor, Secure Tackler, Enforcer, and Run Stopper. And then Mark Cooper had double me in specialist corner, out corner elite, and outside apprentice. This was just cool because you were able to get these cards for pretty cheap doing the solos, almost free. And they came with abilities. Now, I hope they do something like that again. Not all cards are like that. Obviously, it changes. Now, if we guys, if we back up here, we go to here. This is the, the, the hype of the promo, but I'll get into that in just a second. Something that's really hype about the promo is always out of position players. Now, in years past, they've messed this up. They've given us like 92 out of position players as their highest one or 90s. And then made the rest of the promo 95 overalls. Last year, they actually gave us like 95 overall masters. So we got Cordell Stewart, Vita Bay, and Calvin Johnson. So that's fun, right? So we could literally see a free safety Calvin Johnson 95, which would be really, really good. 91 speed, 94 zone, 95 jump, 87 hit power. You can't go wrong with that card. But overall, we got Cordell Stewart, which was a great, great fun addition at halfback, who was a quarterback. Then we got J.J. Watt at tight end. Patrick Card defensive tackle. If you guys don't know, out of position players are pretty much players in real life who have at any moment played out of position, like Vita Vey being put at halfback to score a goal line touchdown, um, JJ Watt tight end to score a touchdown, Mike Evans at cornerback on a Hail Mary to get a pick, Jamal Adams in the box, like Taysom Hill at tight end. Anytime they play out of position, that's pretty much what's going to happen. They might get a card here, which is why it's so much fun. And these cards are actually good. So, like I said, in years past, they've ruined it, they've made the cards bad. They've done times where, like, they give us our best card was, like, a Julian Edelman, and it was, like, a Walter Payton quarterback. Like, Walter Payton quarterback's cool, but it's just, it's a fun card. We want, we want fun and usable cards. Like, Cordell Stewart's fun. He's not going to be our long-term halfback. He's just fun. Vita Vey's fun. Calvin Johnson's a meta player, right? Quinn Nelson, fullback, decent. Tay J.J. Watt, 10, fun, you know, nothing special there. But then Mike Evans was actually really good. 96 man, 92 zone, 90 speed. Jamal Adams in the box. Could have been a meta play if they gave him better speed, but they killed his speed. Don't know why they did that. They gave him a 92 power move. That was a weird card overall. Point is, we got we got, we got got Calvin out of it, right? But there's been years where they've given us not a single player that they're all fun. Now, again, fun's great, but I want fun. Like, Calvin's fun and meta. But moving on from that, guys, then we also have, um, there's a lot to this promo as well. Now, one of the biggest things we have here is going to be the Ghost. Now, Ghost of Madden is probably the most fun aspect of this every year, which is right over here. So, like, Ghost of Madden present. So this is like the current players in the NFL that are doing amazing, like Khalil Mack, Julio Jones, J.J. Watt, Jair, Harrison Smith. But that's not all. So like the Ghost of Pass is probably the greatest players that you're going to get. This is when you get 96 Michael Vick, 96 Patrick Willis, 95 Mel Blunt. Uh, these are, this was a whole set right here. So you have to get all, you have to get, no, what was it? It was Michael Strahan, Bo, I think it was Randall, and Kevin Mawai. If you did this set right here. You were able to get uh, Willis or Vic. No, there was two sets. That's what it was, right? I'm blanking on this one right now. But the point is, the Masters were Vic and Patrick Willis. They're always going to be good. Like, Patrick Willis and Vic, is a, it's, it's a great, there's a great two-master, uh, one-two combo there. But, of course, there's going to be different ones this year. And then for the future, these are players that are, like, either rookies or young and doing well. So, you're going to see right here, we got, like, Daniel Jones, Ghost of Madden Future, Nick Bosa, Terry McLaurin, DeAndre Baker, 
Elton Jenkins, Josh Jacobs, Devin Bush. These are young players that they feel like they have the potential to be really great in the future. Um, yeah, in the future, but currently they're young and developing. But overall, again, this program is just so immersive, and that's not even including presents. If you guys know what presents are, I showed them yesterday. There's gonna be there's gonna be ways to get presents using currencies by buying them. Um, there's been years where we can only use currency to get them, and they're not sellable. There's been years where you can buy them on the auction block, and there's been years where you re-roll them for like a, a 250 snowflakes. You can just keep doing them, and I made 15 million coins last year off of Ed Reed's, like, or was, no, two years ago off Ed Reed's. Like, it just changes every year. So, hopefully they do the present system right this year, but that's about it for the video, guys. Um, yeah, the presents are going to be fun. Always are. I'll, obviously, I'll explain more as they come. They have hints on them and stuff, but that's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn that noted bell. And, of course, comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video to be shouted out in the next video. And if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Just go Poodle, 50% off. Thank you so much for watching.